evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brett Edwards. Breaking now, a Southside native who sat on the nation's highest court has died. Retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff shows us just before his death, Stevens was still issuing opinions from the sidelines. Dana. Yeah, Brad and Erica, only two other justices served longer than he did. He was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, but Justice Stevens went on to have a voice in many critical issues during his 35 years on the Supreme Court. Known for his bow ties, courtesy, and razor sharp intellect, Justice John Paul Stevens found the law later in life. Born in Hyde Park in 1920, he graduated from the University of Chicago with a degree in English before joining the Navy as an intelligence officer on December 6, 1941, one day before Pearl Harbor was bombed. After the war, Stevens returned to the area, attending Northwestern University Law School, later working as an antitrust lawyer in Chicago before being appointed to the U.S. Court. Court of Appeals. In 1975, President Gerald Ford nominated Stevens to the Supreme Court. I am confident that he will bring both professional and personal qualities of the highest order to the Supreme Court. Stevens called it a great honor. In all events, I will do everything in my power to render the best possible judicial service of which I am capable. I thank the President for his expression of confidence in me. He was unanimously appointed by the Senate and went on to serve the Supreme Court for 35 years. Initially, many of his opinions leaned conservative, but later leaned liberal. Landmark issues on which he wrote opinions included the death penalty, government regulation, and civil liberties. In 2000, he wrote a dissenting opinion in Bush versus Gore, objecting to the vote recount halt, stating, although we may never know with complete certainty the identity of the winner of this year's presidential election, election, the identity of the loser is perfectly clear. It is the nation's confidence in the judge as an impartial guardian of the rule of law. Justice Stevens retired in 2010. President Barack Obama then nominated Justice Elena Kagan to take his place. And he really understood that having uh, the support uh, of, of uh, the people and uh, having the institution being held in high regard was important, and he uh, maintained that throughout his time on the court. A lifelong Cubs fan, Stevens attended Game 2 of the 2016 World Series. I spoke to him that evening about his recollection of attending another Cubs Fall Classic game in 1929. I was sitting right behind home plate and the A's pitched a guy named uh, a, a relief pitcher as a starting salary and he stuck out 13 Cubs. It was the unhappiest day of my life. Justice Stevens got to see the Cubs go on to win that World Series, of course. He stayed active and sometimes controversial in retirement. He wrote a book, called for the repeal of the Second Amendment, and opposed Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation. He died of complications from a stroke he suffered on Monday. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.